There's an old saying, what goes up must come down. We all know that, it's common knowledge. But is their common sense always that reliable? Well, we're about to find out. What's up, guys? Hello. Welcome to the magical circle. All right, so, uh, <laughs> so your common sense uh, is telling you that something's about to happen. Yes, you're not sure where we didn't tell you anything. It's not pre-arranged. So um, I have here um, a half dollar. Could you please examine it? You can examine the handkerchief. And I want you to examine the magician. Okay, we just. Right. So uh, here's what we're gonna do. So I'd like you to place that half dollar right in the palm of my hand, like this. I'd like you to place the handkerchief on top of the coin, just like so, and make sure you can see my skin there. So I don't want you to think I'm pulling up my sleeve. Now, obviously, your common sense is telling you that that coin is definitely underneath my hand. It's not because we just put a cloth over it that I did anything tricky, correct? Let's take it a step further. Can you reach underneath the cloth and feel in my hand and make sure the coin is still there? Yes, Smith? Definitely still there, all right. You? Yes? Watch this, watch carefully. Here's what I'm gonna do. If I just shake it like this, tight, 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 the coin should disappear. Now your common sense is telling you that there's no way. We're just as fair as possible. Can you slowly pull off that cloth? Check it out. One has actually vanished completely. So I'd like to do it again, um, except this time again, super, uh, super fair. Here we go, common sense tells you that this hand is cleanly empty. You can place the scarf over it, miss. Great. Can you double check, can you reach underneath, make sure. Great. Yeah. Can you reach underneath? Yes, sir, reach underneath. Empty? Watch carefully. If I just shake it like this, it's done. Would you mind, sir? And the coin actually comes right ah. back. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. Now, your common sense is telling you that there's something probably else that's going on. And I'm going to break one of the rules of magic. I'm actually going to teach you guys how to do this. You guys want to learn this? You can do it with your friends yeah. and families. Okay. You only need three things. You need a cloth. You need a coin, and you need... Common sense. I like you. <laughs> yes, sir, you're right. No, you actually need a secret helper. Yep. This is my friend Jonathan, <laughs> who's my secret helper since the very beginning. Uh, so here's what actually, here's what you do. So you get a secret helper. He's always the last one and the first one to touch it, right? So all you got to do is, uh, at first, I like to do it myself. I cover the cloth. I get everybody to reach underneath to make sure it's still there. So miss, please go ahead. It's still there. Now when Jonathan reaches underneath, he's gonna say, is it still there? Yes. He's gonna say yes, and I come away talking. So the focus is here, but really, he took that coin. Oh, you're mad, you're <laughs> mad, you're mad! <laughs> so, so, he's like, so again, uh, where, and then when the coin actually disappears, just like this, um, he's like, bro, you stayed with me all day. You, you, you betrayed me, all right. So, <laughs> so when I have uh, the cloth like this, again, uh, Jonathan has it in his hand. Uh, we pass around like this. It's not there, it's not there, it's not there. And when it's Jonathan's turn, he says, is it there? It's not there. He says, it's not there, so I get to do my which does nothing, but common sense, <laughs> your common sense tells you this is the, where the magic moment happens, and then when you pull it away, the coin actually uh, comes back and everybody freaks out. But obviously, to make it disappear for real, it would obviously um, look just like that. That's common, that's common sense for you guys. That's common sense for you. I hope you guys learned a lot. Please go out and actually try this with your friends and family. Yeah, you're gonna try it for sure. You're gonna try it for sure. Uh, so try it with your friends and family. I guarantee the reactions are gonna be absolutely amazing. And go make your friends use their common sense a little bit. When it comes to your brain's common sense, what your eyes see isn't always what your brain believes. Wait, are you gonna throw it? No, we're, we're done. Done, 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 done. That's lunch. I've always wondered, is our imagination truly limitless or is our creative brain more predictable than we think? Well, let's find out with a little experiment. Dimitri! Hey, what's going on? Eric LeClaire, man. Nice to meet you. Hello. What's your name? Jessica. Hi, Brian. Jessica. Nice, nice to, meet, nice to you. meet you. Now, it's important to know that uh, for the people at home that we haven't preset anything. Uh, I didn't tell you to think of a specific thing. This is for real. Okay, so you gotta tell me what I'm thinking. I'm going to tell you what you're thinking. Okay. You seem skeptical. Okay. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to get inside your head mm. uh, and hopefully pull a thought out. It's a dark and disgusting place. <laughs> <laughs> 
So what I'd like you to do is to use your imagination and I want you to think of any object um, in the world, but not a tree, a car, or a star, because those are the most commonly thought ob objects. Okay. I'd like you to just look at me and I really want you to feel that little subconscious voice in your head telling me yeah. what it is, but don't move your lips or don't okay, move your I eyes. I won't do anything like that, all just right. my brain. Just your brain, just brain. all right? Brain game style. Here Got we go. It. Please look at me and I want you to send me that object right now. Think of your object right now. Just think, right here, right here. I'm actually going to write what the object is because it could be a lot of things. Okay. I've committed, I've committed to one thing. I think I know what you are thinking of. Okay. Are you ready? You know what? Just tell me, what are you thinking of? It's actually like right above us right now, like a microphone. Microphone. You're thinking of a rock. No. You're really? not thinking this of. Are serious? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. no. No? Okay, don't tell me. Um, are you sure? Yeah. Of course you're sure. Um, you could have thought of anything in the entire world. You thought of microphone. It's crazy. I know. <laughs> I know, man. I know. The first time. Oh, the... man. I know. <laughs> We're surrounded by rocks. Yes, There's rocks yes, everywhere. Yes. Um, you still have that object in your mind? I do. Please give me your hand. Okay. Um, come with me. Um, I want to okay. I wanna show right. you something. Okay. Let's go find. Ignore these people. That's okay. fine. Ignore these people. Let's go over here. Okay. And I want you to think of your object. Are you okay. ready? I'm ready. Um, look at me right here okay. and stand like this okay. and maybe come down here a little bit. Okay. Are you ready? I'm look ready. at me right here. Okay. Um, are you thinking of a rock? No. No? What are you thinking of? Tell me. You want me to tell you? Yeah. I thought you were supposed to get it. I know, it's not working. Tell what, me. What? Really? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Let's do this. Tell me. <gasps> what? How did you do that? What are you thinking? Was that your object? It was my object. <laughs> <laughs> How did you do that? Is that what you had in your you head? You had a little trick. You pulled a trick on me. But it really was inside your head. It was inside my head. Yeah, that was inside my... Yeah, that was... Well done, sir. So were those just a few lucky guesses or is the human mind more predictable than we think? Well, you seem like a fairly creative person. Use your imagination. It's been said, people who are left-brained are more logical and analytical, whereas people who are right-brained are more creative and intuitive. So which one are you? Left brain or right brain? Or maybe you're both. What's up, guys? Hey. I'm Eric. Solomon. Solomon. Brittany. Nice to meet nice you. To My name's Eric. This is John. Brian. So I'm about to show you guys a trick uh, that's going to reveal how your brain actually perceives. Are you a left brain person or a right brain person? So all we need for this uh, is a coin. So we take the coin uh, in my left hand. I'm, I'm going to take it in my right hand. The only thing you need to do is blow on it. Look, and it's going to. Disappear completely. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Now I'm gonna ask you guys. So you're looking at me like I'm an alien. Yeah, I love crazy. it. Now I'm gonna. You're looking at my watch. Now I'm gonna ask you something that magicians don't usually ask okay. their spectators. Okay. Where's the coin? In your skin. Drop your coin. Okay, those are two very, very separate. Actually, that, that's perfect. What we're trying to illustrate here is you said I dropped it. You said I dropped it on the ground. Right. Brittany, you said it's in something creative, something kind of, kind of far-fetched, kind of out there. Uh, it's in my skin. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, the truth is, while uh, one of our one sides of our brain might be the more dominant one at any given time, the truth is we use both sides of our brains pretty much all the time. Um, would you guys like to know how it's done? Yeah. I'd, I'd love to teach you. You want to know? Yeah. Uh, I need. Uh, I'll need the. Uh, oh, I need the coin. Okay. All right. Here we go. So um, here's. Uh, that's crazy. Sorry, bro. I mean, does that happen a lot? It's like a slot machine. Like a coin slot machine. All right. So here's how the trick works. Um, it's way more simple than that. I, I don't drop it on the ground because you could hear it. And you would see it, and I don't hide it in my skin because that's just crazy, yeah. Brittany. All right, now, here's the idea. Here's what I'm actually doing, is when I take the coin like this, I never actually take the coin. It actually stays behind in my right hand. So it looks like this. You guys are looking here, because I'm looking here, but the truth is the coin actually stays in the back of the hand, okay. <laughs> but not in the skin. If you want to make it disappear for real, it kind of looks like that. Are there any questions? I gotta go, my kids are in the car. <laughs> Crazy. 
As a magician, my job is all about defying logic and kind of like this pencil, breaking the rules of your brain's reasoning abilities isn't all that hard. Just watch this. Mate. Yeah. Would you say you're a logical person? Definitely. Your logical thinking is good? Yep. This episode is on logic. Uh, here's what I like you to do. I like you to examine this pencil, uh, make sure uh, it's a pencil, there's nothing tricky about it, there's no trap doors or mirrors or anything, right? Okay. Yep. And I'd like you to examine uh, this bill. Make sure it's a real bill, there's nothing uh, tricky about it. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, would you say that uh, I, if you hold a pencil, if you hold it tight between your hands just like so, would you say it's possible for me if I fold the bill like so, obviously there's nothing inside, mm -hmm. if I come down on the pencil like so, would you say it's possible for me to break that pencil with this dollar bill? I'd say it's unlikely. It's unlikely, very good, why? Pencil's harder than the bill. Pencil's harder than the bill, the bill is flimsy, the pencil's hard. Check this out, I'm about to blow your mind, hopefully. Okay. <laughs> Hope this works, okay. it always works. Ready, it's one, two. Spot on. So your logical thinking is kind of playing tricks on you right now because the bill is flimsy and the pencil is hard, thus making this totally impossible on paper. But you yeah. just saw it, you just experienced it live. You wanna learn it? You do? I'll teach you the trick. All right, so we don't need this anymore. Uh, I'll give you a fresh one. Uh, so here's how I do it. Um, it's, it's kind of deceiving. You're gonna, be, you're gonna be disappointed when you know the secret, but trust me, it's a great trick of us all the time. So what's actually happening is when you're holding the pencil firmly and I have the bill folded like this, here's the secret. When I come down, on the third try, I secretly extend <laughs> my finger and just the tip will catch the pencil. And as I clear the bill, I retract my finger and put it into a normal position. So it looks like this, watch. One, two, three, four. Got it. Right? So it actually smashes the bill right in half. Nice finger. And it doesn't even hurt. Try it at home with a carrot. Try a carrot first. Get a workup from the pencil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you work up to your pencil. Got it. Got it. All right. Cool, huh? Yeah. So if you think about it, there was only one logical explanation for this trick, but most people just can't quite seem to put their finger on it. Why are people so obsessed with money? After all, if you take your brain out of the equation, isn't it all just paper? What's your name? Andrea. Hi, Andrea. I'm Eric. Nice to meet you. I'm a magician from Canada. Don't hold it against me. Have you ever been to Canada? I have not. You should. I like it's it. super nice. It's super warm. There's no snow. People, <laughs> people are super impolite. Have you ever been to Canada, sir? Yeah, actually, I just got back from Canada Sunday. No way. So you've seen Canadian money if you just came back from Canada. It looks a lot like that. So that's Canadian. That's what Canadian money looks like. Uh, hey, have you ever seen Canadian money? Uh, yeah. So this is what Canadian money actually looks this like. This is what it really looks like. Are you buying this at all? No. So how much would you say um, this is worth, This Canadian, these Canadian bills? How much would you say? I, would say it's, I think it's worth less. You think it's probably worth, uh, it's worth the paper that it's printed on? Exactly. Yes? Okay. Well, actually, because I'm in New York, I tried buying a hot dog with this yesterday. No go. The guy looked at me, he's like, he's like, can't buy hot dogs with uh, the Canadian money. I have a 20, 40, 60, 80 bucks here. So I'm gonna actually show you um, how we print in Canada, how we print our money. Look, it looks like this, ready? Watch. Just like that, it actually changes into American money, so now I can actually go buy some hot dogs. I switch it like that and actually just came nice. all back. Nice. $20 bills, and then I, that's how I make my money as nice. a Canadian magician. Can you change it back? Uh, you gotta think if you were a magician. I could, but if you, you wouldn't have tried to, to grab to it out of my hands, back. I could have changed it back. No, actually, I can't change it back. It's a one time thing. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a one time that's thing. That's not yeah. as impressive as I thought it would be. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? Okay, here, all right, here, hold on, hold on. I'll change it. I'll change it. Ready? Watch. <laughs> okay, that's, that's good. <laughs> if you're one of those people who always has paper on their mind, remember, the only true value of money is all in your head. Think you're a natural born leader? Well, you might be surprised your brain is hardwired to follow the pack. You want to see what I mean? Check this out. That thing, do you have the piece of rope?
go underneath, it's all good. Just go under, guys. Yeah, just go under. Yeah, thanks, guys. You guys, just go in. It's fine. Just go under, guys. Thank you. Wow! Almost everybody we tested played along with our follow the leader game. You can try it at home, too. All you need is an invisible piece of rope or a pane of glass. Pane of glass. Do you think we all see the world in the same way? Well, when it comes to perspective, where you're sitting can have a big impact on how you interpret things. Let me show you what I mean with a little bit of magic. Thanks for lunch, guys. That was amazing. Thank you so much. Hey, um, let me show you this new trick I've been uh, working on. Uh, it's kind of like to test your perspective a little bit. Um, let's use this quarter here. Check it out. So it's actually called the quarter through the table. So I'm gonna make this quarter pass right through the wooden table. I have a bottle of hot sauce here. So uh, this trick is typically done with a salt shaker, but I'll use this because we have uh, this around. Check this out. So if I cover the hot sauce like this with the napkin, watch the quarter, it's gonna go right through. Here we go. Oh, sorry. It has to be tail side up. Tail side up. Here we go. Ah, I don't think I'm doing it hard enough. Oh, hold on, wait, wait. No, sorry, I meant, sorry, I meant, <laughs> I, I meant the hot sauce <laughs> through the tape. Sorry, my mistake, my mistake. Why would you do that? Would you like to know? Yeah. yeah. I can teach you guys if you want. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, all I do is I'm covering the hot sauce like this and you make sure that nobody can see uh, the bottle underneath. And what you gotta do is you gotta form it. You gotta make form the napkin over the bottle. So, you're gonna lie. You're gonna say the quarter's gonna go through the table, but really it's the hot sauce the whole time, but you don't tell them this. You say, watch the quarter, you go like this. You're gonna fail once. When you fail, you say, oh, sorry, it has to be tail side up, or head side up, whatever. And you do it again. Ah, and when it doesn't work on this time, as I'm going to reach for the quarter, look what I'm doing here. I'm dropping the bottle on my lap, but you can't tell because this retains the shape. Right? So then you say, oh, I wonder why it's not working. You go back up, and then they obviously think it's, they have no reason to think it's not. You go, boom. You show, sorry, I didn't mean the quarter, I meant the hot sauce. And then when you go get the hot sauce, you have to go one fluid motion, go in the middle, and then pretend like you're <laughs> pulling it out. And then when you pull out the hot sauce, they're gonna go, oh my. <laughs> and you say, no, no, call me Eric. So that's a trick you guys can do at home. You think you can do it? Yeah, yeah. It's pretty easy, man. No, it's yeah. easy. There's no heat. There's no heat on the bottle. It's all in the quarter. That's what makes the trick. It's all a matter of perspective. So it's not always about what you see, but how you look at something that can help you figure out what's going on. The next time you're puzzled, just try a different angle. How do I get down? <laughs>